Hello traders, you're welcome back to the Forex Geek channel. In this video, we are going to be discussing one of the most common issues in the MetaTrader world, and that is how to convert MetaTrader 4 indicators to MetaTrader 5. If you have ever tried to load your favorite mt4 indicator onto mt5 and it just didn't work do not worry okay that is normal the two platforms use different programming languages they use different programming languages okay mt4 uses mql4 and mt5 uses mql even though they look similar they are not directly compatible okay but the good news you can convert indicators and in this video i walk you through the whole process now the first step is to understand the file types okay let's just open data folder i want to show you i want to show you something real quick okay let's go to indicators so as you can see that mt4 uses dot m dot uh, mq4 or dot ex4 right you can see ex4 file it uses ex4 files right dot ex4 or dot mq4 right it could be the mql4 source file or ex4 file and then the mt5 let's go to data folder so i can show you let's go to mql5 let's go to indicators so you can see that this one uses mql5 files right it uses dot m let's just look at this okay the, the way this one is showing is different all right well basically you can see that this is using mql5 this is using mql5 mql5 while that of mq why that of MT4 is using MQL4. So MT4 uses .mq4 or .ex4 files, while MT5 indicators use .mq5 or .ex5 files. To convert an indicator, you need the source code file. All right? You need the source code file. The source code file to you know to convert that means the mq4 the dot mq4 version you need the dot mq4 version you can't convert a compiled dot ex4 file because it is locked all right so make sure you have access to the dot mq4 source code of the mt4 indicator you want to convert all right okay so the next thing for you to do is to open your meta editor all right so as you can see uh we have opened the meta editor this is the code for the accumulation all right the accumulation indicator which i just opened right now this is for the mt4 all right so you can see this is the code for it so once the file is open you immediately see errors if any part of the code is incompatible okay so what we are going to do is since we want to convert mt4 indicator to mt5 we're just going to come to uh we're just going to open 
the meta editor for mt5 okay we're going to open the meta editor for mt5 and then what we're going to do is we are going to open click on open then we are going to be selecting All right, so let's just select this. So we are selecting an MT4 indicator right now. Okay, selecting an MT4 indicator. All right. So as we have opened the file, let's click on compile. So we can see that there are errors. These errors show that you know part of the code is incompatible with mt5 okay but don't panic we're going to go through that next so here are some common changes you will need to make you know um this compatible these are some common um you know changes that you will need to make okay you can replace If you are familiar with coding, or if you're familiar with MQL4 or MQL5 programming language, you will replace some of these. You can see it, whatever that is with anyone that brings out an error message, if you double tap on it, it's gonna take you to where that error is. All right. So if you're familiar with any of these programming languages, then you would have to change whatever mql4 code that is not the way mql5 is okay so you have to modify it to the correct method for mql5 but if you have no idea about code all right about coding then i can recommend using I can recommend using ChatGPT. ChatGPT, you know, does a lot, right? It actually does a lot. So I can recommend using ChatGPT to fix some of these errors. All right. So what you're gonna do is you can just come to ChatGPT. When you come to ChatGPT, you can copy these errors for example you can see these were on line 22 and line 22 so we're going to copy this right we're going to come to chat gpt we're going to paste it all right we're going to paste it we're going to come back here all right we're going to copy these errors we're going to go back to chat gpt this is line 22 right now we're gonna paste it and we're gonna tell ChatGPT fix the above errors on line 22. You have to give it a prompt, right? For my MT5 indicator. Okay, so if you have no idea of coding, you can use ChatGPT to do some modifications, all right? Okay, so you can see this is the MT4 line, all right? And this is the MT5 line. So you can copy this in place of this indicator short name A slash D, you come here and then you paste the correct MT5 code. Now, what was going to happen now? 
we had nine errors before, right? If I click on compile, can you see it has reduced to seven? It means that that particular error has been fixed. So what I just did right now, you do the same thing for the remaining errors, okay? In order to, you know, prevent this video from being too long, I just showed one example. So if you want to correct, if you want to correct the remaining errors, just do the same thing, uh, you know, go to ChatGPT, tell ChatGPT to fix the errors and tell it that you want to convert your MT4 indicator to MT5. So it's going to give you the MT5 version of that code. And you come here and you put it and then you compile. All right. So um, basically, after you're done with your editing, once you're done editing the code, and um, if you compile it without getting any single error, then it means that you have now gotten the MT5 version of that indicator all right so in that case you can now use the indicator on your mt5 terminal all right so now let us just go to our mt5 okay Let's open data folder. So if you want to save this indicator, After you have you can show it in Navigator. Let's open the containing folder. All right. So once you have successfully, once you have successfully uh, fixed all the errors, you copy the file and you go to your MetaTrader 5 data folder. Okay. You have to paste the new file that you created, the new indicator that you created, obviously, you have to paste it in your MetaTrader 5 indicators um, folder, of course. Once you have done that, then you'll be able to add the indicator to the chart. So this process opens up a lot of flexibility. You are no longer limited by platform compatibility and you can bring over the tools you know and love. Take your time with the code changes and don't forget you need the .mq4 source code. No source code, no conversion. If this helped you, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. New videos drop every day packed with trading tools, tips and tutorials. See you in the next one.